down to our last question. Uh, what are you looking forward to 30 plus? Being 30 and beyond. I'm looking forward to um, how my priorities would change. Because um, I think me and I don't, because I, I have friends who are not not our age group now yeah, and are older. on the age group. Yeah, old, they're older, definitely older. older. Um, and you can see the different priorities. Um, what I learned was, is that um, some of the things that we take as valu- valuable five years ago are not going to be valuable to us five years from, from now, for example, um, or how our situations just change depending on how we age, right? Because, for example, now we're at the age where we're transitioning between single life and also family life, right? And it's so disconcerting to find that um, like on social media, for example, no, but on social media, like you see that, like oh, like everyone's getting married, everyone is, um, everyone is having kids, but then there's a certain point in your age where um, people start dying, yeah. for example, which is which is you never really think about that, but then people have undergone that experience where they transition from uh, friends who are still living and friends who are slowly slowly dying and that's not really a fun experience but I I am still looking forward to that because I want to know how my my mindset would also mature um, as I'm going through different priorities in in life and I'm also looking forward to like and I I, I think I, I, I wanted to take notes from you because I, I can see the change um, in you as you transition from someone who you know, someone who, like you said, wasted uh, most of his time going from fleeting from one, one thing to another and then transitioning to fatherhood. I want to know how, how different of a person I am when I have kids because we are planning to have kids. And, you know, I, I want to know how, if I'm going to be a better person uh, with kids, I'm going to be a worse person with kids, <laughs> how that's going to change me as far as, like, my priorities. Because right now, like, we, we always talk about it. We... We talk about how we're not ready yet to have kids because we want to be selfish um, mm. for a bit and we want to make sure that we are able to travel um, as much as we can. I don't have the same mindset as Paj right now where he's looking forward to um, the five years, uh, Zion it's at five. five, Zion at ten. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to like, come on, go to 18, like make it to 18 so that you can leave the home. That's, that's how my mindset is. But that could change when I have kids, and I could I could be like Paz, where I'm like, um, I, I I'm looking forward to you starting to read, or you know, like going through horrible puberty, for example, and how <laughs> you know, like how because that's very awkward, and how you deal with that. So, um, I, I think I'm looking forward to that the most, and how I just mature as I as I age, because um, it can only get better i hope um and not really not really get worse but, but I, I think we learned a lot from pad spud no like like he give me pig so far we, we we learned a lot from you when you just describe what how how fatherhood changed you and everything how your priorities changed okay honestly with you here in Cebu with us, Camille Jen, I really noticed that I can't tap you as much as before. Okay, yun nga, your priorities is not really more on friends, it's more on your family, which I also respect. Ha? I, there's nothing wrong with it. That's why I'm really happy for you. So. We must announce that it happened more like overnight. Right? In a year, everything happened for me. So marriage, kids. And I didn't plan at all. Even the kids. Zion, diba? Yeah, it was so, a plan. I think inana gya po ko the personality, diba? The stage gya po, even kana na milestone. Mm-hmm. Na I think some of the parents will say na in third year sa tung marriage diha na tamang anak. Sa ko pais, I live by the minute gya po. Surprisingly, I'm still, I I mean everything's still working despite the despite what happened. So, 
I'm just thankful, of course. Um, we continue to be uh, a better person by living with our family. And then I think pri- mo- most importantly, um, ask the blessing from above. Okay. Murag, of all the years and of all the ha- happenings na pwede, maragin na yung ground ni mo. Yeah. And we continue to to guide you. So, kana, um, five, ten years, I look forward, but I also look forward na mag-20 siya kay magka-travel namin together, di ba? And mature mature enough siya. Actually, surprise, aga nang excited po ko na kung saka yung choice of a boyfriend. Di ba? Wow, well, boyfriend siya, agad. Mindset, but family. Kay, sa ako ah, sa ako ah. Dali, sa, nagdali. Lagi, nagdali. <laughs> di ba, kung imuhang ako mama, before ako mama, at least ako mama kayo, I'll give a story about ang pangitaag, yun, ang indot na ba? Babay. Di ba, wala yun mo yun na ba? Wala ko yun, wala ko yun na na upbringing, na pili yun yun mo. Murag, ang di po yun yun na ba? So, excited ko na mangayo siya sa akong advice po ko. That's nice. why you have to be really sharp, sick. I would, I would also share SKL. Share ko lang din. Di ba? Sa karon sa... <laughs> Sa, ako, I'm a basketball fan, mag I think you know na there's a team in NBA na majority is 30 years old. And that's oh LeBron gosh. James' team. So, a LeBron James' team is looking forward to win a championship for multiple years despite being in their 30s. Mm-hmm. So, very relevant sa itong discussion na even though we're 30 and even though we're not athletes, it means na we can choose our prime years. I still believe na this is our time. But from 30 to 35, prime in a sense that you're mature, you have 10 years experience more than your college, the college graduates. Mm-hmm. And also you're looking forward of your retirement. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, um, ka symbolic. Ana, eh? I see. <laughs> so, in know, we're or on kaninga year, ay kaninga mag span of years, but make it or break it. So you have to at least make it perfect run to make your 40s and 50s really go smooth. Mm-hmm. And, and then hopefully, wisely. yeah, influence the younger ones. Na. For example, for the investment, so dapat eh, atong mga failures before, atong mga disappointment, they share natin nila our young bloods in the company or in our community. Pay it forward. Period. Also, to pick up what Pad said, life is really serendipitous. I mean, you didn't plan for anything, but, you know, just a happy accident. So, I'll go back to your movie quote. Ako? Hmm. Ito, ano mo kayo? Ako yung movie quote? <laughs> Sir, serendipitous man ka ah yeah serendipitous na? oh serendipity na yeah movie but I, I live by <laughs> it's a romantic movie yeah yeah it is man ka. oh but like everything I try to relate sa, sa movie movies are just me even how kanang how I uh, guide my life movie rapon kya movie quotes kanang serendipitous mga let it go mga um, yeah, those those things. Pero ka na, sige. Napamilain last words before I end the recording. I, I think katong sa kanang comments ni Pat pa about, about the next generation. Um, Because I, I have also been having the same conversations with, with like, sa ako a current work where, you know, like, we have people who are um not my generation, but the next generation. And I... Um, working also with people one or two generations yeah. ahead of me, ahead. ahead of me, and there you can see the the differences in priorities depending on the generation, right? Like for example, mm-hmm. so, uh, we always um, strive to. Ang ato ang good mindset is to try to change the world as mm-hmm. early as possible, um, kind of like a instant gratification thing like if you can't really 
help to change the world, then it's not a fulfilling, um, you know, it's not a fulfillment that you want to aspire to have um, or endeavor to have. Um, but it's different for the generations above, uh, ahead of us who um, just want to have the job and want to keep that job because it, it um, comfort zones at Banga. Um, mm-hmm. They're used to, uh, they were in that generation of people who, who had, uh, who didn't have a lot of jobs that came by. Um, and so they cherish the job that they have, even though, let's say, for example, it doesn't really necessarily make them happy. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's a generational thing. And I'm curious to know how my, how our generation impacts the, the, next. the next one. Um, it, would it be for the worse or would it be for the better? I hope it's for the better. I mean, for the better. We can only hope. Eco pads. I think we have uh, done enough good uh, in, in our lives. So hopefully we'll be able to share this to the younger generation. Now, maybe by to this blog, they will, uh, they will uh, learn, but they will pick up some things. But hopefully in, in your own personal uh, circles, you will share learning and learnings to our maybe in work. Okay, sometimes if we are so busy at work, we forget uh, talking to our networks, especially the young bloods that needs our guidance, especially this one, Aww. this very young blood. So, Anna, continue to share what you learn. Uh, continue to share, especially mga realizations. Okay, it will also make us realize the the most important things in life. Mm-hmm. Uh, gets support us among talks. So I'm I'm thankful na natani hosted by I think it's new normal. Okay, mabalik ang I mean, ma refresh ang muhang mga kwan ba mga foundations and mga realizations in life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sure ako uh one thing that one key key takeaway. I guess hey, this one tabs I learned from you. Na it doesn't really all the time have to be not perfect. Basta you just have to start it. So, kana. So for for those watching, maybe if you're listening, kana. Don't don't wait for the moment that you know everything before you start something. Because one way or the or the other, you already have failures. But it's really up to you to grab that that opportunity when it's there right in front of you. So, um, to end, thank you so much for Tabs and Pads for sharing with me your time and also tr- reminiscing the memories that we had in the past. Thank you. But thank you for the wisdom said uh, in sharing your experiences, especially now we are all um, having different kind of uh, perspectives, paradigms, and current scenarios right now. So I really learned a lot from your experiences as well in US for tabs and for pads being a, a young father right now. So and I, so thank you. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy this session. Okay, bye-bye. Happy 30th birthday, Mo. Happy 30th birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> we used to be called Bibo Kids. Yeah, we were kids now. No, we we were oldies now. Sure. The oldies are good. Well, I know we were.